Hey there, welcome to the show. Uh, this week we're going to talk a bit of Star Wars, a bit of Veronica Mars, and we're going to revisit GTA V and Batman Arkham Origins now that we've actually played them. This is Empire of Enthusiasts. Stick around. Okay, let's meet the people who are going to do the talking today. We've got... Tegan Higginbotham. Good morning. Uh, Afternoon. Whenever you're watching this. Well, they can be watching it Yeah, you realise that the internet, they can watch it any time they like. You cannot. You will watch this before 12. Right. Good six o'clock in the evening. (laughs) Turn it off. Uh, Adam McKenzie, as always, next to me. And first time of Brit Aylin. Welcome, Brit. Hello. Hello. All right, we're just going to briefly talk about some uh, some things that have been happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, Adam, well, nerd news got... happens thick and fast. It does. What have yeah. you got? Something about Wonder Woman? You've heard a rumor. Well, uh, what is the name of the girl? I can't. I can never Are you remember. Talking about Megan Gale? No, 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 not Megan Gale. Yes, because all my news comes from 2002. <laughs> um, yes, Megan Gale is going to be Wonder Woman. No, the girl who plays Sif in Thor. What is her name? Oh yeah, her Alexander. <laughs> yeah, now I, you've. You've anyway, she... Uh, this could have been solved with like a tiny <laughs> bit of Googling just before yeah, and we do, start. do our research for us, Glenn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, she is rumoured to be playing uh, Wonder Woman. She's hot. In Batman vs Superman. She is hot. Mm, oh, so there's hot. a rumour of a Wonder Woman cameo in Batman vs Superman. And yeah. it'll be her, whose the name we will shortly The, the not Natalie yeah. Portman one. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, it's uh, a great idea to have Wonder Woman in... Mm-hmm. Batman vs. Superman, but it just... Just call it Justice League. <laughs> it's just like Batman vs. Superman. Well, it's they've like, already filmed some of Batman vs. Superman as well. They filmed a football game between Gotham University and Metropolis University, I think. Yeah, which they could have just gotten the... Uh, the the You know, in Dark Knight Rises, how they had the football game. Yeah. Just, oh, just, yeah, just, just put that, exactly the same. Yeah, put that in as Gotham. Yeah. I think it'll feel slightly weird having Wonder Woman make a cameo in this film without her having had her own film yet. Yeah. It's just like, I understand that you'll have to put a female in the lead, but just give her her own film already. Mm. I mean, they've, they've had, what, 50 Thor movies? or something now I know it's two but you know I think that that's slightly slightly jarring that you cannot have any of these superhero films with the with the lead that isn't Catwoman starring Halle Berry like that And, and let's face it Female superheroes in comics is a thing. Like, it's, yeah. it's and they're really it's great weird. characters yeah. as well. There's yeah, no no one's like going, oh, though female characters aren't as good as the male characters. Yeah, no, they're yeah. great. The comic book series that I loved recently, which was uh, Why the Last Man. Yeah. Um, because of course it had that really brilliant central male character, but then you had I don't know Why the Last Man. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. This is why you two are comedy duo. Because yeah. <laughs> of the gold. Yeah. Um, but it did. It had all these fantastic, really strong female yeah. characters. And it's just... I I think it will feel slightly jarring that she's the one character who hasn't had her own yeah. film yet. Just sort of right. throw her in. I'm interested to see how they managed to throw her in, uh, you know, without... Uh, Batman essentially ringing her up going I can't fight this guy uh, you're <laughs> yeah. really strong come fuck him up for me yeah, yeah. well the Batman Superman fight is a whole nother conversation how they're yeah. going to do that is going to be pretty well, interesting just, I think that's also another thing Superman yeah. is just now whether you like Batman better or not Superman is stronger oh yeah absolutely you know, uh, yeah. You know and especially the well, version of Superman yeah. the version of Superman we see in uh, Man of Steel is incredibly powerful yeah ridiculously so so they'll yeah. probably have to completely depower Superman yeah but Batman has smoke grenades <laughs> it's true he does yeah. Batman's gonna have to get really badass and hold people hostage like that's the only way he can do it is by going no. touch me uh, uh, orbital laser I'm just saying Wayne take orbital laser <laughs> No, he'll have he'll have a bit of Krypton Kryptonite. atmosphere in his oh, right, like, yeah, in, yeah. in a little puffer. Fighting? Yeah. Why are they fighting? Are they oh, fighting? have you got the I have Jamie Alexander. Jamie, Jamie Alexander. Alexander. There we go. I Jamie was... Alexander, word on your sterling career up to this point. We don't yes. know your name, but we quite like you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think she'll be great. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, another big thing that came out recently, uh, Brits, the Veronica Mars movie, yes. there was a trailer slash teaser that came out it just was, last week. It was a combination of scenes from the series ah. with a few scenes from the movie showing mm. where Veronica's relationship is when the movie starts. <laughs> and so they're, they're... But now, look, I'm not the biggest Veronica Mars, fo- Veronica Mars Ver- fan. Veronica Mars. <laughs> Veronica Mars. I'm from New England. Um, but Piz, who's her... Yes. Who was her last, well, most recent boyfriend in the that series? Is true. Isn't he shit? He's not. No shit. one wants He's her just to be with him. Boring. Right. And what this trailer actually sets up yeah. is that Piz is nice and reliable and treats her well. But I mean, who wants that, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, ladies, who yeah. wants that in a man? You know, yeah. the other option is Logan, and if she's with him, she'll probably get killed at some point. Oh, but she gets to look psycho. at him glowering all the time, yeah. and Jason Doring is a really good glower. Okay. Uh, Tegan, yes. Star Wars. 
I have a prediction. Yes. And I just want this production. Now this predi- is for the movie. This is for the new the new JJ interpretation. Um, I, I I just want it out there in case it is right, and I want to be like, yeah, watch the Empire of Enthusiast episode. I think they're going to go back to using models, and I think it's going to look gritty. And I think they when have you say to do this. For models? The, do you mean like uh, Miranda Giselle Kerr? Bunchen, uh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Like they no, are. They're, just... they're going to have. They're going to have. They're going to go way back. And not only does he have to make it look very different from the latest three Star Wars uh, things that were put yeah. out there. Let's, but let's call them fan films. Yeah. We'll just say the things that were done and took our time. Um, they they have to look really different from Star Trek. Yeah. And I think he really, he cannot just put out something that is glossy and lens flared because it will look the same as Star yeah, Trek. So it's, but, it, they, I reckon they are going to be super gritty and it is. It's going to yeah. be, they're going to take it back to what people originally loved about Star Wars and it's going to be old school. Yeah, I, I think that's a pretty good prediction and uh, I think you're right on a lot of things. Thank you. The one thing that you were not right on is the lens flares. They're like, no, I look, I read JJ Abrams that... and lightsabers. <laughs> No, like, I, are you telling me he's not going to be like, you need more lens flare? No, I think... He, you're I just going to be blinded which, for an hour and a half. Yeah. The he whole admitted he used it too much and he's going to try and cut back. Right. I right. don't think he yeah. used it too much. I actually... I like for, the lens For the flares. world that he created, I think it fit in with it. Mm. I, I don't have a problem with it, but I just don't think that he can do that exact same thing for Star Wars. Because people... Mm. I think people are already a little bit edgy that the worlds are, are colliding like this. Mm-hmm. So he's going to have to be like, well, that's that. And that's that. Yeah. You know, it's uh, really hard to um, listen to you when you've got a lens flare over your face. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Don't get it out, Adam. Oh. Take it off. Oh, so why bright. are you doing this? So why is he doing that? Oh. I can put the lens flare in post. It's going to be rad. Yeah. I think you're going to as well. Yeah. Yeah. Three yeah. hours, I'm not going to be able to contact yeah. you on the phone. Why? Because yeah. you're putting in lens flares. Yeah. Why have your breasts got lens flares on them? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Oh. <laughs> oh. What would be really oh. weird now is if you don't put them in and it's just me going, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is an interesting question. We're excited about Star Wars because it's not George Lucas, which is weird. Well, it is kind of George Lucas. It's George Lucas light, but you know he's going to be. But, yeah, with his... but George Lucas wasn't in. He didn't direct uh, two of the very initial films, did yeah. he? No, he so didn't direct two. It's not that it's different from George Lucas. I do think they just got lost. They got overwhelmed with the technology. I'm just excited. No, I think they're terrible. I, I, think, I do, I do. I think I they're think terrible. I think that George Lucas wouldn't know a good story if he happened to write one. Um, <laughs> which is what happened. He just accidentally wrote a good one, and then, and I then think the others were terrible. I, I know that they did amazing things money-wise, but I think that the general outpouring from the public hasn't been great. There's not a lot of love towards those films. Mm. So I think anybody could come and direct these new films now, and they just go, all right, we're not going to do that again. Yeah. I'm and, not excited that it's JJ. I'm just excited that they're giving yeah. it another shot. And, but the problem, with, the problem with Star Wars, the movies, the new movies being so terrible, is that... There was so much. There is so much great Star Wars content. Yeah, like mm. Clone Wars is excellent. Uh, the books are great. Mm. Um, a lot of the cartoons and stuff that come out are really good. Mm. Games have some animatics that are yeah. just like some of the animated scenes in the games. Yeah. Are just like, just do that. Yeah. Just do that. Yeah. You know that bit where all those Sith jump out and all the Jedi fight them. Do that. Yeah. And it's yeah. It's just it, they're, they're heartbreaking. And I really because as when I was younger and I watched Phantom Menace for the first time, I really loved it. Yeah. As a kid watching that film, that was a great film. It's actually the later two that I have more of an issue with, actually. The Gungans can fucking die, and everybody knows that. But, yeah, they, they're really upsetting. So it's just more that I would love it if this amazing thing that has so much love towards it can end on a much better note. And sure. I think it will. Flip side of that, one of the most exciting things about the Veronica Mars movie, for example, is that it's all yes. the same people who made it to start with. It's mm, not new is people. Correct. It is the same vision, as it were. Yes. And for those who might not know, uh, the Veronica Mars film uh, is now being funded entirely by Kickstarter or, or uh, at least you know at least a good 50% has been funded by the fans a very very big portion of it was funded by Kickstarter they raised a ridiculous amount mm. of money I don't know the exact figure but I know I put in $70 towards it so <laughs> wow. I, I really feel like I'm part of that's the production awesome. now. you bought someone some catering for one day that's, yeah. that's right yeah. I paid for someone's lunch yeah well yeah. done well yeah, done you both salad that's on you. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Wow. Yeah. That's an interesting way of going about things. I, I wasn't aware that that's how they got the money for that film. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it was quite famously so. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I'll form an that, opinion and get back to you. Yeah. <laughs> on that interesting note, we're going to leave it there. Okay, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> 
few weeks ago we talked video games and we speculated about GTA 5 and also Batman Arkham Origins and now of course they've both been out for a while and I just wanted to talk about those briefly. The criticism I have heard from most of my friends is that it's just the same. Yeah, that is the biggest problem. I, I For some reason I felt like it was going to be different. But it actually isn't. It's just more of the same. I've heard amazing things about it. Everybody's it's still a been raving fun. about it. Uh, it's yeah. still really good uh, in the sense that the first two are really good as well, even though it, it is really just more of the same. And I don't know. Again, it, this is the problem I had with both GTA and this, uh, in that I, for some reason I convinced myself that they're going to be vastly different from their previous games, and they, and they are not. Mm. They are larger versions of same. Mm. Um, Paul Verhoeven, friend of the show Paul Verhoeven, uh, yeah. wrote a very um, convincing article uh, about how this was his favourite Batman game because it divorces itself from the mythology of the uh, animated series and allows you to open up the world of Batman and be more of a detective and these sorts of things. Yeah, great. Um, I don't know if I agree with him 100%. Mm. Uh, part of what I enjoyed about the other ones were that they were written by Paul Dini who wrote a lot of the great Batman animated series episodes as well as a lot of a really good run of detective comics in the yeah. last five years or so and uh, I think that he really captures the voices that, as I hear them to a yeah. certain extent like the voices of the characters you don't feel like they did that in this I game? don't know I, I think the storyline of this game is fine but a bit rudimentary you know yeah. like it just sort of moves from you know it, it's, it's there's a bit of a mystery and there's business and it goes on and you know because it's set earlier there's origin business which is fine and yeah I mean whatnot. there is something to be said for if it ain't broke like it's well, a Batman absolutely. game and people like Batman well the funny thing is is that the game actually is kind of broken right. um, it's one of the glitchiest uh, multi-million dollar releases I've ever played oh wow yeah but with GTA I mean that is a uh, game which has an expansive story uh, which I don't always enjoy uh, there's some really the GTA series has always had a really ambiguous relationship with like morality to a certain extent because yeah. you do do bad things but then you mm. also have to em- empathise with the characters you're playing so occasionally they're heroic but they also do ridiculous things yeah, you know, I like think they kill the, a lot of guys and stuff yeah, like that I think the problem with GTA is that it assumes that it or, its audience wants to be Violent, like they want yeah, a violent that character, is, that and they're very interesting. Yeah. They've but got the. Don't you uh, buy that game because you? I mean, I, I've heard of that game, well, and don't you beat up hookers and stuff? Well, you like can do, that? yeah. Yeah, so but, I, I know. Buy that game. To be fair, in context, yes, you buy the game. You have to expect certain things out of it. Mm. Mm. Although I do find that when I play these games, I do get involved in the characters, and I want them to be able to do things in a certain way that the game isn't always able to do yeah. you know like GTA is one of these weird games where it's gigantic and you can go and do anything at any time but with the storyline it's really railroaded it's yeah. like really linear like you have yeah. to go A, B, C to achieve anything and there have been sandbox games like Skyrim that actually get the morality really right yeah. like you if you don't want to kill the guy like you get a god sailor telling you that like kill that person I'll give you a mace and you know I don't want to kill that person yeah. alright you don't get the mace it's like alright well I don't want it go yeah. for yourself yeah okay yeah. And yeah. I guess that's it. That's maybe that thing where they're saying that games can really start affecting people. Well, you know, I mean, something like Batman's fine, but something like GTA, uh, you know, you do see that it's cheap at Big W, and you think to yourself, who's buying it at Big W? It's going to be people buying it for their kids and stuff, you know. And like, there are certain, you know, you do yeah. stuff in that game where you, you, I do feel, and I'm sorry if I sound like an old bastard, but you know, mm. you're in a situation whereby this isn't cool for mm. you know teenagers to <laughs> yeah. be playing. That being said, there is also I used to play Sims. Yeah. I really yeah. did like Sims. You made think them do things, didn't you? I made them do things. See, what I figured out in Sims is if you get a house, get lots and lots of Sims in there, take out all the doors, then put cheap furniture in front of the fireplaces, you can burn the house down. Right. And then all yeah. the Sims turn into little gravestones. And I would see how many Sims I could burn down in one fire. Right. Now, I'm probably not going to do that to people. I mean, I can't guarantee it, but I'm my, probably my not going to do that My favourite word in that people. sentence was probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I probably won't do that to people, but, but you know, I might. There's so, a chance. But percentage. then again, they weren't hookers and I wasn't beating them up. So I Yeah, know. so you know, swings and roundabouts. The exactly. other good way of killing Sims, of course, was to make the swimming pool with a diving board, but no lattice, so they couldn't climb out. Oh, and mm. they get tied and drowned. Yeah. Mm. I never thought of that. And then she was all, she was all fire in the swimming pool. So you drown Sims and you burn Sims. Yeah. I've never killed a Sim. I've killed a person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's all we got time for. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you after this. All right, that's all we've got time for. I think if you learned anything today, it's that Adam is as good as Lens Flair as anyone in the business. Uh, remember, we want you to get involved, so get online, get on our Twitter, get on our Facebook, and uh, seek us out. Tell us what you want to hear about. Remember, you're part of the Empire as well. That's all we've got time for. See you next week. <laughs>